All right, back here, 643 on Sunrise. Here's an unusual way to fix the pothole problem. Our senior investigative correspondent, Bob Siegel, shot this video Saturday of cars, yeah, driving over potholes filled with sandbags. <laughs> this was uh, 79th Street near Georgetown Road. We're still waiting to see if the city is responsible for that temporary solution. Uh, that's when you know it's really <laughs> Real bad. bad. Right? Exactly. Well, relief for drivers as crews are set to hit the streets this morning, filling as many potholes around the city as they can. As we mentioned, DPW is having another pothole blitz starting around 8 this morning. And, of course, our Matt McCutcheon joins us live with DPW's big plan. Good morning, Matt. Good morning to you. We just got our hands on sort of the list of where they plan to attack those potholes today. That includes 71st Street, 10th Street, College Avenue, and Keystone Avenue. A full day ahead for crews. We're joined by Dan, the director of DPW. Good morning to you. Let's begin with how many potholes could be filled on a daily basis as you begin this split. We could fill uh, close to nine to 10,000 holes per day. Um, we're going to have 20 full crews out there. That's 120 uh, person uh, from DPW plus our contractors. So we're going to be hitting it hard today. The hot asphalt plant is open and we're going to be putting hot mix down in these holes. This is day one of what's going to be a long fight against, against the chuckles. And Chuck Lofton mentioned the possibility of rain on Wednesday. How does that impact the overall week? Tell Chuck we need a better forecast <laughs> than that. But um, our hope is that we can get good weather. Uh, the huge difference between this time and when we did it in January is that it is much warmer out there. And um, with the hot mix, uh, we're hoping for a lasting uh, uh, chance to fight against the chuckles. And the mayor mentioned the need for more money allocated to roads. Where does that stand kind of as we wait to hear if that will happen? Uh, my understanding is it's going to be introduced Wednesday uh, to the City County Council. Thursday night is a Public Works Committee meeting. Um, the key difference between this and, and last time is just with, with the additional dollars the mayor is going to put towards this, uh, we're going to be able to do some strip patching. Uh, if folks see this list and they don't see a, a, a street that's uh, in really bad shape, it's probably going to be targeted for strip patching. So um, once we have that set, that's a little more in-depth process, but we needed to get our crews out there. This is day one of a long fight. All right, you heard it right there. Thank you very much for joining us. So again, allow yourself plenty of extra time and space. If you do see those crews out on the road, they've been hard at it since Christmas, attacking the snow and the roads. Now they're going for the potholes, but in Julia. All right, they seem defeated. Give them a good <laughs> attaboy. We're, we're happy yeah. for the work that they're getting done. We know they're trying. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it.